Hi lovelies. I'm so excited to be back again. Okay, so if this is your first time here, my name is Akbego Sandra and today we're going to be talking about a very crucial topic. If you're a flight attendant like myself, you understand why this topic is very important. And if you want to be a flight attendant and you have been discouraged, then this video is for you. We're going to be talking about those misconceptions that you've heard about we'll just mention a few of them and also be debunking these wrong ideologies and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to subscribe like and click on the notification button so that you'll be notified for when i post a new video so let's just get right into it so the number one wrong misconception we're going to be addressing today is professional call girls when the word flight attendant is mentioned People just feel like we flight attendants are in this job for money and men. We're in this job to sort for rich men or to sort for men in general. Maybe because this this profession is is mostly female dominated. Maybe because they are asked to look good. In Africa today, parents feel like a flight attendant or a cabin crew profession is not even a prestigious one. People are whom they want to be because they want to be like that. Not necessarily because of a profession. If someone is wayward or flectitious in as a person even if you keep that person in another job that person will still be flectitious and also wayward so i feel like you should do well as humans to know the difference and don't attach someone's character to a particular profession if you genuinely have the passion for flying and you've been discouraged by these things that you've heard i feel like this video is for you as a flight attendant, you're the face of the airline you represent. Most airlines don't even like their cabin crews chatting or even exchanging numbers or even chit-chatting with passengers. A lot of airlines don't even want that. So I don't know where people come up with this, <laughs> this wrong ideology. Honestly, I don't know how people run with these things. It's so, I don't know, it's alarming. Today, we're mentioning these things with the aim of debunking them. So please, if you have been discouraged, you love the profession, you want to be a flight attendant, and these things you've heard have discouraged you, please don't give up on your dreams. The second wrong misconception that a lot of people run with is waste stresses in the sky. People just feel like flight attendants are in the aircraft to safety and coffee. <laughs> Honestly, like this one gets me a lot. They're like, Flight attendants are mostly in the aircraft because they are, they, are, they are there to sell tea and coffee. I don't know where people get these things from, honestly. But growing up, I actually heard this things even before I even went for my ab initial course. I let's stop stigmatizing a profession because of a certain ideology that we've heard while growing up or that we hear around. Flight attendants are serious safety managers in the aircraft. Honestly, I can't even overemphasize. Anybody can serve. If you're not trained to do it, you will be able to serve someone. So please, flight attendants go way beyond serving tea and coffee. Before passengers even board the aircraft, we carry out a lot of activities. This is to ensure your safety. This is to ensure the safety of the aircraft. Another wrong ideology that I feel like we should address today is um attendants carry passengers back i don't know where people even get these things from but there are exceptions to that yes we can carry passengers back but there are exceptions to that and these exceptions are if the if the passenger is a sick person an elderly person you don't have any business carrying your bag what if something was to get missing is we have nothing to do with passengers bag we only help show passengers where to keep their bag if we feel they are lost or how to get to the hat track we show them these things. We don't help passengers carry their bags to the aircraft. Crews are only in charge of their own luggages. And we have our own crew tags to differentiate between our luggages and your luggages. So we have no business touching your bag or handling it. That has never been our job, unless there are exceptions. Another wrong ideology or misconception that we'll be talking about today is that flight attendants are in the aircraft to date or marry a pilot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing like this, but honestly, this one gets me a lot. Like, I get this a lot. They'll feel like every flight attendant they see in the aircraft 
he's probably sleeping with the pilot this pilot sees us as their bro guys like this pilot sees us like it's just like a relationship that a nurse has with a doctor that is the kind of relationship we have with these pilots a lot of pilots hardly like hardly marry flight attendant most of these pilots are even married already so they don't even have any business dating a flight attendant they just see us like their sisters honestly i mean i don't know where people get these things from it's so funny because a lot of people just feel like they even want to become a flight attendant because they want to marry a pilot like <laughs> i don't even know in what world that is like going to happen most of these pilots are even married men already most of these pilots they are not looking at you they are looking at you like their sisters we just have a very good agape love for each other the fifth one we're looking at is that flight attendants live glamorous lifestyles yes we assume to live glamorous lifestyles because of probably the way we dress or because of the places we go to and most of these things come they come with the job not necessarily because you know we have made it in life or the money is surplus or all of those things we have no <laughs> yes we are hoping to make it in life but we're not there yet oh body is perfect so don't let the good looks deceive you you don't even know the amount of things that we face every day to even get the job is war like to actually become a flight attendant with any airline i mean most of you that are working already know the struggles nobody has it all put together everybody is building we are asked to look smart look good but we don't dress up because our life is perfect nobody nobody has it all put together nobody's life is perfect if you smile a lot you know that this job personally resonates with your person so you will often smile and people will just think your life is great everything is going well with you they hardly know what is happening behind the scenes these things is just packaging it comes with the job honestly we have come to the end of this video if you find this video very very valuable don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel please guys and if you're a flight attendant write your experience it's just misconceptions that you've you've heard about flight attendants and go through them again together don't forget to give this video a thumbs up click on the notification button to be aware of when i post a new video thanks for watching guys